All right, time for the shop guide. Why don't we start with my great fortune? Misfortunes retreat day by day, your fame spreads far and wide, they say. Old fates change, new fortunes play, as stars rise high, blessings stay. As you can see, we got 600 of the event currency. We have currently finished both the story mode and the challenge mode. We still have the curse. What's, what's that? Curse I How, how does, the fuck does this work? Daily bonus, skidding, skidding, skidding. Uh, yeah, I have no clue how this works. We have a couple quests where we can claim even more rewards. So let's see, is there anything else? We did the 210, 210. Uh, right. 500. And the rest is perform summons, make purchases in the shop. Complete quests, great fortune, some, something, something times. All right, so redeem shop. Enough, enough of the talking around. Redeem shop time. Here we go. So very simple, very straightforward. The first thing you want to do is buy this mythic artifact. If you have a Kigiri and if you plan on getting him, this artifact is his best in slot easily by a mile. So your first thing is going to be purchasing out the demonic relic. Next up, for those that don't have her, Astrid is a easy must buy. If you do not have her, she's very, very strong. She even has relevance in the highest of endgame content. For example, um, for example, Gear Dungeon 2. So definitely make sure to get those. If you already have Astrid, you can focus on the summons. You can focus on the psychic powers. Arena permits are actually quite interesting. You should get those so you can get yourself uh, or your hands on um, on Lady Alexandra earlier. Uh, Lunacy Visor. Lunacy Visor is rare and hard to get, so you can definitely uh, also invest into that one. The Avatar Border is just something of a you want to remember the event, so you buy the border. Then you buy the gems, so you can get more of Kigiri. You you get the uh, you get these shards, and then you can get the chat bubble uh, chat bubble latest, uh, because uh, it it depends, right? But if if you're more of a oh I want to remember the events I want to collect, you go with the avatar board and the chat bubble first. And if you're more pragmatic about just summoning and getting more stuff, you go with the shards and the diamonds first. So yeah, overall the most important part is keep in mind Demonic Relic is the very best artifact for him by far. Now, what the hell is this daily stage? Cursed Isle, I have no clue. So uh, I guess we'll have a look at it too. Okay. Four, 420 people. Uh, I guess we'll have a look at it together. Um, here... Yeah. Mm. I have no idea how strong these enemies are. We're just using the formation we also used for uh, for the hard difficulty guide. So uh, yeah, MP and attack of all monsters increase. Uh, sure. So yeah, this, this is the same team I used for the Kigiri event stage. And uh, I guess we should be fine, uh, quite fine right here because we have enough healing. We have two AOE damage dealers. And we have enough blockers, so by all means, this should be a success. Uh, yeah, to be, to be fair, I think at this point we can also just fast forward because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Going to 420 enemies is just gonna be rather time consuming more than it being like super helpful. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain our formation should be able to pull through. And also what we could have done is place someone else in front of Wrath just so we have more block on more people. But uh, as you can see, Soleil and... Uh, Soleil, Volker and Maul are doing their job quite well. Especially Maul with their beautiful slow.
Oh damn. Now that is disappointing. It looks like we weren't able to kill the enemies fast enough. I think we only got like 370 out of out of the potential ones. So I guess we're missing out on some mm, a couple rewards. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Hmm. I think we can we can quit any time, right? So let's let's analyze. Yeah, they probably want us to defend up front, I would guess. And then with like a whole bunch of AOE focus. I do wonder why there's like a oh you you can this is this is just bad UI design, but after the chest, uh like if you, if you if you really squint your eyes and zoom in you'll be able to read something along the lines of blah 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 starts in whatever so there's kind of like a timer hidden behind this bar uh unfortunate design i gotta admit that and uh yeah i don't, I, I don't know what they what they thought with this one Let's see if we can at uh, this time get a bit closer to 420. so we on leave three again this is so bad ui design you really cannot make out what that is supposed to say uh may maybe it only goes to the fifth chest and we don't have to kill 420 people to still get the max reward which also would be kind of dumb I, I don't i don't know what what is going on so we do have the max rewards but we aren't finished. I have no idea. This is such a confusing game mode, especially because it says like daily bonus and there's nothing there. Uh, five chances remain. I have no idea what is going on. Three hundred ninety-five this time. Again, we are on five. Um, our rewards do look to be the same, which is 30 hand guards and 20 diamonds. So I guess it doesn't really make a difference. What a weird way, but uh, I guess we'll end the video on this one. Peace out. Bye bye.